welcome to bsc statistics students in this class i explain fitting of gompedge curve this is uh, another growth curve what is a gompedge curve first of all the gompedge curve is yt is equal to a into b power c power t this is called gompedge curve so in in which uh, a b and c are parameters we have to find out three parameters and so that uh, the gompedge curve is going to be fitted to the given data by fitting the given data you have to calculate three parameters a b and c that is our objective but how so first of all uh, we have to consider logarithms for this to calculate or to fit a gompedge curve the procedure you have to consider logarithms log yt is equal to a into some another constant some b log a plus log b log a plus log b into b power c power t is equal to the log a plus c power t into log b it is just like uh, log x power m is equal to m into log x c power t into log b here you consider this is log yt here you consider let uh, ut is equal to u2 is equivalent to be some log yt so i am considering this log yt as ut and uh, capital a is equal to log a and capital b is equal to log b log small b if you consider like this then this becomes ut is equal to log a is equal to log small a is equal to capital a plus log small b is equal to capital b into c power t what is this this is a modified exponential curve this is a modified exponential curve we know how to fit the modified exponential curve i have explained very clearly by using two particular methods we can fit the modified exponential curve one three selected points second one partial sums these are the two methods by using any one of the method we fit this particular modified exponential curve we, cal we calculate the parameters capital a and capital b capital a and capital b thereafter we calculate uh, uh, the small a and small b as a is equal to small a is equal to anti log of capital a and similarly small b is equal to anti log of capital b we calculate small a and small b like this and so that the small c is as it is the same value the same value we have obtained from the modified exponential curve so therefore by using these values a b and z the given uh, uh, gompedge curve it is the best fit for the given data whatever the obtained gompedge curve by with these values a b and c the parameters the gompedge curve is the, the best fit uh, for the given data so this is the procedure of calculating gompedge curve we have to convert into by considering logarithms and by we have to convert into a modified exponential curve and then by the method of solving the modified exponential curve we have to do the procedure and then small a and small b should be obtained by taking anti logarithms and by using as usual c the same value of c with the value of small a small b small c we have to calculate we have can obtain gompedge curve that is the best fit of the given data Thank you. Thank you very much.